this kind of setup where you have nothing but one jig different total colors and lots of pyramids, this kind of setup requires just a little bit different kind of effort. For one, if you want, go ahead and clear out all the junk enemies to getting rid of the healers and the such. Because, uh, well... So, I'm getting rid of them. And a certain something is not a hit. The important thing to note is the null. Keep this as far as you absolutely can from all other pyramids. But what if you can't get a pyramid over because of islands or too much distance and such? Like, hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that is doable there. Better check that before I bother shuffling pyramids. Okay, basically go here. So I can throw it. Otherwise, I'd have to drag my thief out if it was six. I've had my thief throw seven panels before. However, it's very chance-based, and it only happens when you throw diagonally. So, the null is far away, right? Okay, that's what I need. And there were... All those pyramids. But what if the null is otherwise inaccessible or there's like a no lifting effect or another such troublesome pyramids. Well in that case what I usually do is I focus on getting the one nearest to the red or whatever the matching color is and it's almost always going to be red. I get the one nearest to it because remember how it spirals out it'll probably go here, 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 here. Of course there's nothing here. Then I'll go here, and then I'll bump, go over here, and so forth. I'll word in a spiral. But if you can't get it all, well, in that case, obviously, do not bust matching color pyramids. Because, well, nothing's gonna happen. So, I guess I'll just drag you out, so I can do my favorite special skill. And this is what I do in case I otherwise can't. I just try to get every single other pyramid I possibly can. Not the null. This is the level 2 type setup. It's just a little bit more difficult than level 1. If you're really focused on maxing out the bonus. But really here there's nothing special. But it's a nice setup for explaining level 2. So. Ready? Quite a bit weaker, huh? I think there it is. Now it's gonna get the null. Besides busting, just so you know, busting those other pyramids, even if they're not really necessary, will actually give you some extra experience if you really need it. But keep in mind, a level 9999 pyramid's only worth like 5.6 million, with all the statisticians, of course. They're not worth much. No, we're really near enough. After all, level 9999 Argus is already something like uh, almost 68 million. It's actually 67 and change. Compare that to the 5.6 million pyramid dozen. Yeah, you probably get the idea. Still, they do add up. Of course, I left the gate guard. Why did I leave the gate guard? The gate guard never moves. That makes it so much easier to shuffling pyramids around. But of course, if you were to actually cross over to these islands, you'll have to either use throw or have a hyperdrive on hand. Yep, if only there was a way to speed up the rate the bonus gauge fills up. I'm gonna get some exp, so I'm gonna go drag out my experiment. Experiment? This thing. Hmm, what's so special about her? 
other than the fact she's relatively low level and otherwise very weak. Of course, I choose to make her weak, and it's intentional. Yeah, I'm gonna say I do use, but I just want to show you how insane weak she is. But there's actually a very good reason why I have her so weak like this. Put a K at the end of that and double that, and yeah, that's what my wizard does. Without all of her teachers. With her teachers, add an extra digit and then the K.